Tomb of Souls uh, was written for Oracle, so it's an old song. Didn't really change a lot from the original version, as as none of the Oracle songs did. Uh, we basically recorded all the songs that were from Oracle that were recorded on the first album were basically as they were written. The lyrics were the same, the structures were the same. The only thing that we did was uh, embellish, embellish uh, things in different ways and add different melodies and that sort of stuff. Tomb Souls is just extremely dark, powerful, uh, heavy. I enjoyed recording this one in the studio um, and enjoy listening back to it today. I think mean, really, really strong track, um, which was a tribute to what the band was doing at the time. So Tomb Souls was the only song that I've ever written which was directly influenced by someone else. Uh, back in 1992, Black Sabbath did an album called Dehumanizer. I wanted to do a song that was sort of an homage to that, because it's still one of my favourite albums ever released. Uh, even though we didn't detune or anything like that, we wanted something um, quite, as, as, I guess, as heavy as we could make it. Um, I thought the original maybe lacked a little bit of oomph in places since it was kind of a little bit doomy in places and, and uh, it was supposed to be quite a heavy song. Um, so my goal this time was to try and bring in as many epic elements as possible. So you'll hear at the start there's big tubular bells and and all that kind of stuff and, uh, and massive thuds. There wasn't structurally much changed. There's a lot of detail in the riffs that have changed. It's, it's the sections of it that used to be more used to be more complicated than they were than they are now. Uh, there's other bits in it that were easier to play, and now they're incredibly difficult to play. Um, we tried to get as many more hooks into this thing as possible as well. Uh, you know, I'm all about the hooks. The chorus really stands out now. There's a there's a nice choir behind it, and uh, really really good dynamics. I always thought that it needed more. It needed more orchestration or something in the midsection in particular. So uh, we've addressed that a little bit. I thought the guys did a really, really good idea, like really breaking the, the, the middle bit down and bringing the harpsichord. So when it does come back into the nice melodic solo, there's there's a nice build up. So there's there's a really good, really good um, progression through the song now, um, and and good good dynamics. So uh, Tim Souls was again largely rewritten in terms of the the lyrics, uh, and that gave us a lot more scope to work with with Tim as well. Again, with, along with Quote the Raven, the, the artwork by Shane Parker didn't come about until after the album was actually done. The new version um, by Dimitar, again, it, it really showed the, that, that moment where the Undertaker, which he's actually envisioned as a priest, uh, is being taken away by the, the malevolent, vengeful spirit. So, um, yeah, two, two different versions of the artwork um, that both pretty much summed up what the song was about. Pain, the 